Warning, do not watch this alone. Get your partner, friend, pet, or loved one to watch with you. Otherwise, the message doesn't get across. Are you awake? Have you ever been? Will the story of your life be nothing more than a series of dreams? Sleepwalking, umbling from one end to the next until finally Your eyes have been closed. You are safe, yes, but safe like a prisoner in a cell. It's time to open your eyes, even if pain and darkness is all that lies before you. Wake up, wake up. Face the world as it is. Be warned, the path is wild and full of treachery. There is darkness. There may light be also. I'm running out of my mind. Is this really my life? I'm running out of time. Is this really my life? My life. Can I wish on a star for a Cause it feels like I'm all on my own tonight And I find myself in pieces There are pills on the table and a thought in my head And I walk through the halls where I used to be led My heart is filled with reasons I'm trying to be somebody else I'm finding it hard to love myself I've wanted to be somebody new But that is impossible to do I'm running out of my mind Is this really Lost, oh, I've walked down the bridge that I shouldn't have crossed And I find myself a user Oh, I wake every day with addictions to feed They all call me a friend But I'll never be freed from the face of a faithless future I'm trying to be somebody else I'm finding it hard to love myself I've wanted to be somebody new But that is impossible to do I'm running out of my mind Is this really Pass by, and we're growing older. And I think of you, oh, we've made it through. Some have passed away, and some have moved on, but I'm still here today. I'm here today.
wish on a star for another life Cause it feels like I'm all on my own tonight And I find myself in pieces It's nice up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to say? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want, I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You told me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes, stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things are all around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured, and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world, I, ne I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are, are, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What, what do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You were my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that, I'll come back once more. And on that day. We'll talk like how we used to talk and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had and all the nice memories you've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort, but when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. Ah, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? 
You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book, filled with all kinds of different pages, as it should be. Take care of yourself, alright? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. time ago. I can sing, can I sing a bit from Legally Blonde? Am I allowed to do that? I thank you one and all The ones who thought I'd fall Who taught me how to fail Who helped me to prevail
stood up very tall. I think my voice was fairly small. But there were times I'd want to shout, though my thoughts weren't sorted out. So I'd stumble and I'd fall. I learned to fly because of you. So if you left, I could go too. And everything you saw in me, that's what I wanted to be. Did I make it after all? Trading my yesterday is to wish my life away. As we dream and as we grow. We have to learn to let things go But let the wonder never fade Though we've turned ten thousand pages Flying high or stuck below I've searched for meaning amidst doubt I finally figured that part out And all the stories inside me Feels like I'm bursting at the seams And you're here after all All the grass on the other side Is it only Trading my yesterday is to wish my life away. If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha! Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl.
gorgeous view from Nevada. My grandma's house. This video doesn't do it justice, but I caught the end of the sunset. <laughs> screen. That's insane. Bye-bye sunset. Wow, that was a gorgeous change. I can't believe I caught that on the camera. That was cool. Bye guys from Nevada. Bye. A while, huh? A long while. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish it were under better circumstances, but I know. I wish I still had the time to tell you all, all about what's happened. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one more thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But that's okay. The chances I miss, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had, well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. What do I do have? I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Go on, they're waiting for you. It's time to go home. Hey Colin? Sorry I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was. Close your eyes, it is time for you to tell the world goodnight. It might be dark inside, but there are still stars shining in the sky. Close your eyes, I am here, and everything will be alright. I am 
right here by your side as we go walking through the night. particularly special. They say thousands of messages from all over the world are buried beneath the sand here. Here, you're gonna need this beach scanner. Reach beach scanner. Hold spacebar while walking to scan for messages buried on the beach. Just remember to put them back whenever you read one. Why isn't she going back to her watermelon stand? I don't know, Roxy. I don't know. Wait, how do I... If 
found a buried note. There it is. I was wondering where it was. This is a message I uh, contributed. I put my friend Katie into the game. I was wondering where it was. It's weird that it's not part of the demo, though. In the demo, there was like a special cutscene, but maybe, maybe that'll show up later on. Who knows? But it's interesting. Cool. Alrighty then. Close your eyes, it is time for you to tell the world tonight. It might be dark inside, but there are still stars shining in the sky. Close your eyes, I am here, and everything will be alright. I am right here by your side as we go walking through the night. Oh. Eva, uh, hey. What is wrong with you? Why do you sit here and let that imposter deal with me instead? What, you think you're not already fake enough? Hey now, he's not really any more of an imposter than me. It's no different from when you doled your own memory from immersion last run. Then why do you keep on interfering? You give me this machine, yet you hide it, you hide from me in it. You lock yourself in this room, yet you clearly make it so I can find you. We've had this conversation before. You said you wouldn't keep away anymore, remember? Yeah, but this is different. You've been coming in here too often. Maybe I wouldn't need to if you would just be here. You were distant when you were alive. You're distant even when you're dead? I'm sorry, what? Uh... That is the twist I was not expecting. I was not expecting he would be dead. If you'd only... Oh. So, really dead, huh? Really, really dead? Sorry. No, I mean, of course I'm dead. That's why, you know, all this. But it's just strange hearing you say it out loud. I guess we just never really talked like this here since then. So how did it happen? You know how it happened. I mean, how was I in my last moments? Did I keep my charms, crack a good joke, retain my devilishly good looks? That bad, huh? Sorry. All that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I know it's selfish to say, but... You didn't give me enough time to prepare. I gave you this. And yet you're holding it at arm's length. Look, I just don't want you to wall yourself in here. 
As I said, you've been coming in here a lot recently. Who are you to try to babysit me? It's my responsibility. I'm the one who gave you... Then why did you even give this to me? I don't know. I didn't know what to do. On one hand, I guess just... I just didn't want to disappear. This really wasn't meant for you. But I guess I just wanted to leave you something too. I wanted to build you a garden. What's the point of that if you lock yourself out of it? I know you don't want me to rely on this, but... Is it too much to ask for one trip with you fully present? I know it was impossible, but isn't that why you gave me this machine? To make something like that possible? Just this once, actually, be there with us. Just this once, just go on a real vacation with me. Yeah, okay. Although... Do I still get to wear socks with my sandals? You're not going out with me in a lab coat, that's for sure. Get changed, I'll meet you downstairs. I am flabbergasted. Like you got me out of here at last. Just so you can sit there and keep to yourself. So, what are you thinking? It's just something silly. During the trip, I saw something I liked at the store. The dream that you saw that I wanted it and got it for me. 
that you bought it in secret and hung it out my door to surprise me. You would do that, right? Sure. Now the trip, there was a time when I was scared. I dreamed that you were scared too, but you stepped in front of me. That you stood up for me and tried to protect me. You would do that, right? Yeah. But you're not you, are you? No, I'm not. I wish you were. I wish you were still around so I wouldn't need you here. I know. But even so, I still remember everything. I still remember the first time we met. How you got me out of my shell, even just a little bit. I remember the first time I held your hand, even if it was just to help you up. That time when we visited my place, how mom and dad thought you were my girlfriend. And how I wish you actually were. You may not have said yes back then, but I really wanted to ask, you know? And I almost did, but... Then I remember the look in my dad's eyes that one evening. Mom was already in bad shape then, and he was always putting on a brave face. But that evening I caught a glimpse when he thought he was alone. And that helplessness and grief in his eyes. I realized I never wanted to see you like that. And yet... And yet, here we are. You know, I never had the chance to show you this thing I made. It's not finished, but it was for you. It's really lovely. Thank you. You once said the ending isn't more important than the moments leading to it. Don't. Do you still believe in that? This isn't the same. It's not so different. The truth is I never actually felt that way. The ending, it always felt more important to me. I replayed our memories countless times, being a part of them, watching them from afar. But no matter how I felt then, whenever I got out, I was always faced with the ending. And I just can't get past that, it's the one I didn't want. Yeah well, guess you can't always count on me sticking the landing. Sorry. Maybe we're just not, maybe we're just built that way. Maybe we're just not built to be in it for the moment. But it's because of that, I thought it was especially important. To remember that phrase so I could at least remind myself of it. And what about this moment? How are you feeling right here and now? Here? I'm okay. As long as I'm here, I'm okay. Guess I'm not too shabby after all, huh? You know you can't stay on this beach forever though. But it's comforting. Sure, and that's why it's dangerous. Remember what I am. I know. But just a while longer, okay? Yeah. Just a little while longer.
Can I say my shit? New York, can I say my shit? I got lots of shit to say. I got lots of shit to say. Ooh. I can't fit my hand inside a Pringle can. I have a huge amount of trouble fitting my hand inside of a Pringle can. I can get my hand like four inches into the can, but then I have to tilt the can into my mouth. But by that point, a bunch of crumbs had accumulated at the bottom of the can. So they all go spilling out of my face. What I'm trying to say is the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. I'll say it again, the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Two radiuses of a Pringle can is way too small. If you feel me, put your hands up. Come on. If you feel me, put your hands up. Look at all these hands that are way too big to fit inside a Pringle can. 
Your hands are no bigger fit inside of Pringle cans. Your hands are no bigger fit inside of Pringle cans. You think you can? I know you can. You think you can? Pringles, listen to the people. I am sure 90% of the complaint letters you get are about the width of your cans. Just make them wider. I've overdone the Pringles thing. Sorry. I want to have a daughter. Want to have a daughter. So I can finally have someone around the house who can fit their hands in a Pringle can. Yes, I'm still on the Pringle cans thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll move on, all right? But that is priority numero uno. I don't go to the gym because I'm self-conscious about my body. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Irony can be so painful. That's a catch-22. Let's do this. I went to Chipotle, went to Chipotle, got myself a chicken burrito. I went down the line, I got like all these ingredients, and then at the end of the line, the guy tried to wrap the burrito, but half of the shit inside the burrito spilled out, he still wrapped it. I was like, dude, you should have warned me. You're a burrito expert, you should have told me halfway through, hey man, you might be reaching maximum burrito capacity here. Do you think I want a messy burrito? No one wants a messy burrito. The whole appeal of a burrito is that all of the ingredients are contained within the confines of the tortilla. I wouldn't have gotten half the shit if I knew it was going to fit in the burrito. All right, look. I wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit. I wouldn't have got half of it like I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. Wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. Would I get the cheese if I knew it would have Would I get the peppers if I knew they would have Man, I wouldn't have got half a bit alike Half a bit alike, half a bit alike Half a bit alike, half a bit alike, half a bit alike. I think it's time, I think it's time that we break it down Sit here and pretend like my biggest problems are Pringle cans and burritos. The truth is my biggest problems, you. I want to please you, but I want to stay true to myself. I want to give you the night out that you deserve, but I want to say what I think and not care what you think about it. A part of me loves you. Part of me hates you. Part of me needs you. Part of me fears you I don't think that I can handle this right now Handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now Look at them, they're just staring at me like Come and watch the skinny kid with a steadily declining mental health And laugh as he attempts to give you what he cannot give himself I don't think that I can handle this right now I don't think that I can handle this right now But they don't even know the half of this right now but they don't even know the herb of it But I know I'm not a doctor I'm a pussy I put on a silly show I should probably just shut up and do my job So here I go I wouldn't have got the letters if I knew it wouldn't fit Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit Wouldn't have got that You can tell them anything you just make it funny, make it rhyme And if they still don't understand you Then you will run it one more time I think that I can handle this right oh, Handle this right oh, Handle this right But you don't even know the half of this right now Right now oh, Handle this right Handle this right Thank you.
you. Good night. I hope you're happy. Now the show is done I hope that you had gut trembling or something resembling fun and if you watch this thing alone you probably didn't laugh but maybe a few times you exhaled out of your nose but if you hated it that's fair but either way could you find a little more time for a parting questionnaire on a scale from one to zero are you happy because you're on your own from here so are you happy? I'm open to suggestions. Are you happy? But what the fuck kind of question is, am I happy? I really want to try to get happy. And I think that I could get it if I didn't always panic every time I'm unhappy. Like, I'm owed some life where I'm always like happy. Which is stupid because I wouldn't even want it if I got it. Wait, oh God, my dad was right. So if you know or ever knew how to be happy On a scale from one to two now Are you happy? You're everything you hated Are you happy? Hey look ma, I made it Are you happy?